Hi, this is Pro with VIP Outdoors. I want to introduce uh, not so much a new product for VIP Outdoors. I've been using it for a long time, uh, but we made it now available for people to purchase. So what we have here is we have our VIP anchovy spinner, okay, or anchovy leader, if you want to call it. Um, and really all it is is we just pre-tied a bunch of moochin leaders for you guys, but we put it on good quality line. We have maxima 40 pound, and we tied two owner four-out hooks to it, the super needle points, okay? Uh, I've always found it challenging to buy pre-tied pre -tied leaders because I like knowing that I tied them. Uh, so we wanted to put a good quality leader on the market that was pre-tied. Uh, so you can find those at VIPoutdoors.com, just the leaders by themselves. Uh, but what we did, ended up doing there is... We have our two hooks on our Moochin leader there. We have our bead that comes down there. Uh, we have one of our premium hoochies that come down over the top of it, our rubber squids. Okay, that bead underneath there is very important. It keeps the the life of this uh, this little squid there. Um, it extends the life of it. It keeps that nose intact there. Then what I do is I put a, another six bead ball on top of there. One of our plastic clevises, a bar of plastic clevis, and then one of our 3.5 cascade blades, okay? So this is our how we sell our anchovy leaders pre-packaged. You buy them right there from the website there. Um, but the way I hook up the anchovy itself is just like this, okay? This is actually a herring. That's what I have in my freezer. I usually do fresh anchovies, okay? But all the sizes of the anchovies are different, right? You get little ones, you get big ones, you get, I mean, so, People always go, well, you kind of need a slider there. And I've never cared to tie the slide, sliding rig. I hate tying leaders as it is anyways. So why would I take extra time to do that, okay? So what I do is I take the bottom hook, the trailing hook, just like that there, okay? And I take this anchovy, that's a little fin he has on there. There's a herring, I know. But then what I do is I put it, on, I hook it through the bottom third. Just like that there. Okay, then what I do is I'm looking to bend that anchovy. I'm looking to get a kink in that anchovy. So depending on the size of the anchovy, you gotta collect this line, the line in between the bottom hook and the top hook. So the way I do that is I take that line and I wrap it around the shank of the top hook. Okay, and I just gather as much line as I need to create a kink in that anchovy. Smaller anchovy, Keep on winding, four, five, six cranks. Bigger anchovies, heck, you might not even need it, okay? So then what happens, when you put it in the water, you have a bend in it just like that there, okay? All right, so when it spins through the water, it sits there and it's either gonna curl, or the more bend you put in it, the more tail whip it's gonna have, okay? Um, I've heard that the more helicopter effect you get, the more coho you catch. I don't know. I've caught a couple of Chinook or two bending the crap out of it. Okay. But then this comes down over the top of it like this. Now that seems like a lot, but I'll tell you what, when those fish want anchovies, they want anchovies. And what drives me nuts about fishing anchovies is that sometimes they come up and they could look at that thing and it'll fall off. Or they take a whack at it and the thing goes straight and the bottom hook falls out and there's no, no spin in it anymore and they want nothing to do with it anymore. Or if they bite the tail off, they want nothing to do with it anymore, okay? With this method right here, that blade is still turning. They will come back and they will bite it again. And generally speaking, when they come up and they bite that blade, they're biting at that head of the anchovy also, and I'll tell you what, it is absolutely lethal. Uh, that's what I prefer about this uh, over the plastic helmets. Plastic helmets do work great. You could get a nice tight roll with them. But when they bite that helmet, they can't clamp down on the hooks. And we've all had it where they got line coming off that reel and they're pounding on it. You go grab it, no one's home. And the anchovy's still on there, 100% intact. It just straightened out. That means they bit the head of it. With this right here, they bite the head of it. It collapses, head hook gets them every time, okay? So that's our anchovy spinner. We call it an anchovy spinner at VIP Outdoors. What's really cool about this setup here is you could either fish it inline behind an inline flasher or you could chop it down. I usually chop it down to about three feet when I put it behind a, uh, a short bus super series or a pro troll. 
So again, you, it's, it's very, very versatile and fishing it behind a 360 presentation or an inline presentation. But that's how I rig our anchovies here at VIP Outdoors with our anchovy spinners there. Thanks for watching. Check out all of our products at VIP Outdoors and remember to practice and share kindness on the water. Talk to you soon.